I'm going to give you 10 mistakes that we made when we renovated this pop-up camper, but don't worry, I'm going to show you a few of the things that we did do. Mistake number one is the crank. If some of you don't know what a crank is on a pop-up camper, it raises and lowers the roof. So these beds slide in and out and the roof come, goes up and down. The problem is, when you use this crank, you can't go too far, otherwise the pin will snap in half. And that's exactly what we did. We raised it up too high and it snapped. So now you can see how my son is crawling under the camper and he has to put a screw in because we can't seem to get the, the hole completely filled out. So we have to put a screw in. And that is what enables us to raise and lower the roof. So don't do it. Don't crank too much. Don't make the same mistake we did. All right, mistake number two we broke the bed rails. So what happened was we were so excited to go on a trip. We went to Florida, it took two days to get there. We're sitting at the camper and I had told my husband that I needed a minute to fix the top before we set up all of the supports on the bottom. Well, I didn't relay that message to my son. He was inside setting up the supports on the inside and managed to get on the bed. This is a king size mattress. <laughs> got on the bed and it completely fell to the ground because we did not have the supports in yet. So don't make the same mistake we did and make sure that the first thing you do when you set up camp is put the supports in. All right, mistake number three is the awning. We took a trip to Arkansas and we stayed at this really amazing campsite on the lake. We were expecting a storm. There wasn't high winds. We checked it all out. We thought our awning would be fine. Okay, it was not. Take it from us. Take down your awning anytime there's any kind of wind, anytime there's any kind of storm or rain or anything, and especially when you're on the on the lake, because it just totally mangled our awning. And it had not been used hardly at all. And now first use, it's a goner. All right, before I tell you mistake number four, I'm gonna tell you something that I actually did right. So these clips up here I got on Amazon are super strong. And can we talk about my kitchen for a minute? Look at how cool these shades are. They are just bamboo shades that I got off Amazon, of course, but I wanted something different than just a typical curtain. I wanted something that really divided the space as a kitchen. And these little clips here are holding up my plant, among other things in the camper. They are fantastic. I highly recommend them. So total win there. So mistake number four uh, is this countertop. I don't think there's any water damage or anything, but when we were in Arkansas, my husband had to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Sure enough, when he was getting out of bed, he put his hand right here and pushed all of his weight and it completely snapped. I thought I was dreaming. I can't believe it. I don't know why that happened, but make sure that you don't put your weight on this and maybe investigate it, make sure it's reinforced, but total bummer there. All right, I just want to take a minute to brag a little bit. I am not the best seamstress in the world, but I have to say I'm pretty proud of myself for sewing all of the cushions of the camper and sewing up the seam. Check out my stitch work. The people before tried to glue it and that obviously didn't work, so Check out my stitching. Isn't that good for me? Did the inside too. Check it out. Pretty proud of myself. No bugs getting in here. All right, mistake number five is winterizing the pipes of the camper. All right. I didn't think that we used that much water or any when we went on our just few camping trips, but apparently we did because the next time we went, which was in Arkansas, all of a sudden there was water on the floor and eventually you can see there was water damage along here and I had to rebuild this wall completely and 
I don't know what happened because I don't think that we used hardly any water when we were doing the renovation and then took our first trip, but apparently we did because there were water leaks everywhere. It was horrible and it was totally not a good start to our first camping trip. So definitely winterize your pipes. All right, so while I'm down here, I'm gonna give you tip number six and that is the paint. All right, the white looks really nice, but as you look up closely, it gets beat up so easily. And I feel like we probably could have helped preserve this kind of white color by polyurethane over it. So when we work on, well, we're working on our new camper and I'm painting, I'm gonna try to polyurethane over it and see if that works. So I know white looks good guys, but it really gets beat up. So maybe try a different color. All right, so mistake number seven are these curtains. Had a brilliant idea that they look really cute. I was super excited about it, but I used the wrong thread. So every single time somebody would sit down, it would pop, pop, pop. Every single one would just come off. I was so mad. So the way that I should have done it is I should have used upholstery thread. So as soon as we got back from that first camping trip, I took all the curtains down and re-sewed all of those clips back in. And ever since then, they've been great and they haven't pulled down. So learn from us, use upholstery thread. Okay, mistake number eight, this Velcro. I thought that since I bought the strongest Velcro possible, it would definitely hold up this canvas like that, but no, it doesn't. When we have to put the camper down, it just comes right off. So what I should have done is sewed it into the fabric, into the canvas, but I didn't. So now all these lovely bugs like to come in. Don't make the same mistake as us. Okay, mistake number nine is this table. I love it. It really looks fantastic, but the problem that we did is we did not glue every single seam. So as the weather, the humidity took control, the side is completely loose. So I'm gonna have to take the screws out and reapply a ton of glue and polyurethane this to death because no matter what part of the US or wherever that you're camping, you can't control the humidity. So we have got to polyurethane this a lot. So that was mistake number nine. Okay, mistake number 10. We should have done this a long, long time ago. I know it's been a lot of stress and a lot has been going on. A lot of things went wrong, but I don't even care. The amount of memories that we've created as a family has totally been worth it. We should have done this years ago. So I want you guys to go check out my series of my vintage camper remodel, uh, my renovation. It's a camper that's a little bit bigger than this one. Um, this one served a great purpose. It has been well loved, but we are now working on a new renovation to where we can accommodate our family as it grows. So definitely we should have done this a long time ago so we could travel more and make more memories. So I hope that you guys decide to find a camper, camping, whatever it is that your family enjoys and do it now. Don't wait, it is totally worth it. Thanks for watching guys.